Greetings and welcome to Educational TV again. Blessings to all of my subscribers and all who is here what for the first time. You know what to do. Please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, likes, comment, and share. Thank you. Now, people, I'll start off this video by saying condolences goes out to Daniel Ferguson, people, family, who was one day shy of his 60th birthday, people, and lost his life in this gruesome fire. Now, people, Daniel, who is a mechanic, people, and a pig farmer, and relatives and family says he was a hard-working and also a good guy. So condolences of people. Condolences goes out to Daniel Ferguson family. And also people, all of the people, the other six people who was injured and burned in this ball of fire. You know what I'm saying, people? Now, people, this should have never been happened. You know what I'm saying? This should have never happened if the gas station attendants did follow the protocols of a gas station when there is a crisis like this. It should never happen point blank period. And this was carelessness, people. This should never happen. No, people, what we saw in the video, people, clearly, which you're going to see in this video, is that the lady, the gas station attendants, she was out of her mind because she didn't know what to do. There was a guy who attempted people to do something from From the leaking pump people that was flowing out gas like a damn burst he made an attempt and it was still flowing people now there was another guy i don't know if he is also a gas station attendant but he was sitting there people on his phone imagine people the gas is flowing like a river and this guy was sitting on his phone with his phone in his hand. Now, by looking at this video now, people, I realized that these people wasn't trained. You know what I'm saying, people? Because if they were trained, they would know what to do in a crisis like this. You know what I'm saying, people? First of all, when we look at the red car people who started this ball of fire, the car drove up. Then the car reversed. Then the car people enter the area where was the big puddle like a river of gas people. That's when the car drive up, drove over the puddle of gas people and all hell let loose from that point people. That was a very very silly thing to do by this driver in this red car you know what i'm saying people because 
there's protocols we follow in gas station. You know what I'm saying, people, as motorists. First of all, when you come to a gas station to pump gas, your engine supposed to be off. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? And if this driver saw this big, big river of gas, big puddle of gas on the floor, people, and approach to drove over this gas, it's a recipe of disaster. You know what I'm saying, people? Now, when we look at this old thing, people, as I says, it should never happen. This should have been avoided. Because, people, we all get common sense. You know what I'm saying? When God made us, he gave us five senses plus an additional one, which is common sense. And, people, common sense is what everybody have. You don't have to go to university. You don't even have to go to school, people. You know what I'm saying? To have common sense. It was given to us. And here's what university you go to, how many degrees you have. It's all boiling back to common sense. So common sense should tell these gas station attendants that the minute the pump is flowing like that, like a river, all sales and the gas station supposed to be closed immediately. First, they should have cones, people, to put there that no car could enter that area. You know what I'm saying, people? But instead, everybody was just looking around. Nobody was, you know, thinking or even knowing what to do, people, until they make this red car drove over the puddle of gas and kaboom, people. It was a recipe of disaster. You know, people, as I says, you know, we are supposed to think, use our common sense. You know what I'm saying? This is gasoline and this is very, very dangerous. No, people, the next thing is that the amount of gasoline that I see in this video, people, flowing through that pump, people, in no way that guy in that red car should have drove over that puddle of gasoline. You know what I'm saying, people? Because it was a lot. And the thing again to people, the gas wasn't coming from the external pump. It was coming from the internal pump. That means something terrible went wrong inside that pump. So if they were trained properly, people, the first thing they should have done is turn off the main valve. Put some cones and block off that driving entrance that no cars will allow to come in that area and also close the gas station on a temporary basis and clean up that gas before operation started at the gas station again. So it seems to me, people, that no one was trained for a crisis like this. Now, the fire department and the police are investigating the matter. And I think, people, some charges supposed to be laid down because you have to train people to do a job whenever crisis like this happen. You know what I'm saying, people? So just watch the video down below and tell me, people, look at this red car and see how this driver in his mind attempt to drove over a puddle, I mean a river of leaking gasoline people that was a dumb, dumb thing to do. And as I swear, said, we all have common sense, man. Use it up. You know what I'm saying, people? Because, people, this could have been worse. Because I also see a man walk behind the red car, people, with his baby in his hand. You know what I'm saying, people? So this could have been worse. There could be many more life lost in that tragic, tragic situation like this, people. 
because it was a very terrible, terrible thing to watch. You know what I'm saying? And as I said again, condolences goes out to Daniel Ferguson and all of the victims in this terrible, terrible fireball, people, because it should have never happened. Leave your comment down below and tell me what you think. You know what I'm saying, people? And walk good, talk good, live good, think good.